Need to talk about Manchester United, in particular what's going on on the field. Eighth loss of the season against West Ham on Saturday. But, Paul, the, the big news that broke on Christmas Eve is that finally uh, Sir Jim Ratcliffe has acquired that 25% of the club for initial cost, we understand, of a, of a billion pounds. I mean, the Glazers still very much at Old Trafford. He's agreed to buy 25% of the club's shares. So he's, we understand, going to inject around about £237 million pounds into the club. <laughs> And any other sport are now going to take over football operations. I mean, Gary Neville, we just saw in that quiz, very critical of the timing of this deal. What's your take on it? Uh, it's been going on a long time. I, I think he's going to. There's a lot of work to be done. You, it's a just, huge amount of work. Huge, as you just said, 230 odd million. I mean, that ain't going to take you very far. I mean, the first thing they've got to sort out is their recruitment. Mm. Got to sort that out. I'm not sure about the, the man who's coming in. Is the, the cycling man? So Dale Brailsford. Yeah, it didn't work with Clive Woodward at, uh, at Southampton. I think you've got to get football people in, in my opinion, and, and work with football people. This is a big football club. But it's, there'd be no-one else to blame now. You know, he's come in, he's, he's brought the money with him, which, as I say, is not a lot of money, if I'm being honest. 230, 230 million in this day and age in the Premier League, where Man United are. But they won't be able to keep on blaming the Glazers. Mm. It will be watched on the pitch now. Too many. Everybody's hiding behind everybody. They got to start performing at the moment. They are all over the place. They are. They're rotten. They're rotten. I'm not being horrible there. He just keeps on keeping his head above water. I think the manager is very fortunate. I mean, very fortunate. I'm. You know, every time I see him, he just stands there, just blazing away, like just watching the game. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, the attitude of the players, I don't see any fight, I don't see a lot, and I don't like that. I mean, you're playing for the biggest club in the world, in my opinion. Still the biggest club in the world. And they are all over the place. Tonight, they play Aston Villa. Honestly, I yeah. don't know. Honestly, I don't know. They could win the game, and I wouldn't be shocked, and they could get well beat, and I wouldn't be shocked. And that's not Man United. And, and the thing is, it's going to be no use in terms of the transfer window, Clinton, because it's going to take six to eight weeks, we understand, for this deal with Sir Jim Ratcliffe to be ratified by the Premier League. That'll see us through January. Well, in terms January. of what's in the inbox at the moment, it's bulging, isn't it, in terms of priorities and things that need fixing? There's loads of stuff that need fixing there, but on, on the pitch needs fixing as well. But he spent loads of money, Ten Hag. So ten, they, he's had money to spend and he's bought in players and players there are not delivering at the moment. Well, you can imagine Brailsford and crew are going to be asking those kind of yeah, questions. Yeah, and... I, I, about recruitment, as Paul Dave Brailsford won't, won't go in there and he'll he'll go and oversee stuff. He's not going to go in there and try and be a director of football. He'll look at the, the likes of Murta and see how stuff are running with Ten Hag at the football club. And then I think he'll assess it. He'll be like I think the one working under Sir Jim Ratcliffe and looking around everything, what needs improving at the club and stuff like that. So I don't think he's going to go in and try and get involved too much. But he'll just look from afar and see what stuff needs to be done there. But. There's big problems on the on the on pitch. Huge, huge football um, problems on the pitch. Nowhere near good enough, and and the manager has to take the blame for it. Well, what they will start looking at is what well, yeah. you know. I think Clinton knows the man yeah. a lot better than what I do. What they will look at. It spent 160 million quid on two yeah. wingers. Yeah, yeah. Two wingers between them haven't come up with five out of ten yet. Mm. I mean that that cannot happen. Mm. Cannot happen. And this man's a businessman. He'll come in. You know, he ain't earned his money from being silly and he'll be started going, right, why am I paying 80 million for him, 80 for him? I'm giving him 250, I'm giving him 200. None of them are playing, he's not performing. Nah. There needs to be a big clear-out. A massive. Yeah. I, I mean, it, be, this will be a wake-up call. Wake-up call. This will be... Yeah, I don't know if it's took this long for, for Sir Ratcliffe to come in mm. by looking or is he going to come in here and then go, oh, my God, I didn't think it was as bad as what I did. That, I, I ain't sure. I don't know if it, Are you allowed to do all your own work before, Tim, and see absolutely everything? Or could he come in and go, oh, my God, I didn't think it was as bad as this? The thing is, I would have said two seasons ago Tottenham needed a big clear-out, but once yeah. I've got a manager in there who gets the best out of the individual players, mm. it's not so much of a clear-out anymore, you know, and they've added to it. Um, so that's what they're going to hoping for. They can't all leave. I mean, they need to get rid of uh, someone, and, and unfortunately... What Tottenham did is change their manager and the, and the manager they brought in has been the right answer and I think that's what has got to happen at Man United. They need to change the, the man who's not getting the best out of the individuals on the pitch. And Sue, they've got Aston Villa at home later tonight. That's, that's an 8 o'clock kick-off. I mean, it just looks eight points off the top four at the moment. They finished inside the top three last season, but it just feels like for the rest of the season on the pitch, they're going to be treading water.
at best. Yeah, it does. And, you know, I think ideally the fans wanted a, a complete clear out, um, a complete takeover. But you, you just think it does need to be sorted from the top. You hope then it's going to filter down to performances on the pitch. Because I watched the game against West Ham and, and it was a change side. You've got to say that, again, lots of injuries, lots of illnesses. They've, they've not had that that sort of stability, that consistency, um, and that's clearly showing on the pitch. But what was apparent still to me was that that lack of plan, that that quality going forward. They got themselves into good positions and it was either a, a poor decision or a, a poor finish, and, and that continues to happen. I think when you've got wide players that want to shoot, they, they don't want to feed Hoyland. Like, a lot of criticism has, has been on Hoyland, but I didn't really see that no many service. opportunities for him. No service, and, and that's going to be that's going to be difficult. I looked at his XG the other day. It was three goals. Really? No, it's free. I, yeah. think, no, I don't think that's bad service. I really? think when he's had the chances, he can't finish. You know, he's, he's the developing player. Why on earth did they not push the boat out to go to Harry Kane? I know we sound like a broken record. Harry Kane and Declan Rice would have improved a lot of other players at that football club and he would have made the manager look better as well because they do it right. They have an idea what they're doing on the pitch. These lot have just been thrown on the pitch. Wherever they land, they just like to play. Ain't good enough. But they're going to look at a club like that and the, the way it is at the moment. I know what happened last season. Think there's trophies to be won elsewhere right now. I think if you, it's Man United, it's Man United over here, by the way, 90 minutes. Um, <laughs> no, I think it's, <coughs> listen, it's, it's Man United. Is it still not a, a pull? It has to be oh, a pull. Oh, I think it is. I it has it to be is, a pull yeah. for any player in, all over the world because yeah. sooner or later they yeah. can't be this bad forever. Mm. Man United will be great again. It's just when.